I remade blocks into mobs in Minecraft. I'm gonna start by taking this bone block and turning it into a skeletal wanderer mob. Let's take the bone block and cut it in half and turn it into a mouth with spiky teeth. I then added this purple part to the top. I think I'm gonna use this as a head covering. I think it would be really cool for this to have a hunchback as well. And here are the arms and the legs. Gotta have those. And now I'll add some design to the clothes. Fix the jaw so that the mouth is open and then do a whole bunch of texturing. Oh yeah, it's starting to come together now. And I think the hunchback bony boy is ready to rock. Let's see what it looks like in Minecraft. These guys are some of the lackiest meaty boys I've ever seen in my entire life. And they're walking around blind. Pull in some skeletons and see these guys go to work instantaneously. Right now, we're all great friends. But the moment that I hold on to their very favorite food source, the bones, <laughs> give me what you got. Blam. Oh, oh, they do a lot of damage. You think I can jump over all of them? Let's try. Here we go. Eee! No, I can't. These guys are beautiful. Well, kind of gross. And they look good. We're going to give you, my friend, a solid 8 out of 10. Next up, I'm going to take this amethyst and turn it into an amethyst this miner. Start by duplicating the block and shrinking it. This will become its nose. Then add these purple rectangles that will become the eyebrows. You might not see the vision yet, but you trust your boy Kipper. Now I'm gonna start making this weirdly shaped hat thing. It kind of looks like a witch hat, but it's not. Don't question it. Onto the ears. I ended up making them pointy like a little purple elf. Now work on that body. I decided to go with the stubby build. You might not like it, but this is the ideal physique. I'll start the texturing by working on the feet, then the shoulders. Now I have a great idea. I'm going to incorporate the amethyst clusters here too. Let's add them all over this guy's head. Okay, I made the nose really long, but I think it works. Does anyone else think this looks like the dad from Cloudy with a Chance of Meatballs? And like I said, this is going to be an amethyst miner, so he's going to need some tools. So we're going to take more amethyst and turn it into a very sharp pickaxe. Yep, that's solid. I think our amethyst mob is looking good. Let's check it out in game. Look Look at the beautiful big boy. Yep, the nose turned out very, very long. Dude, you look amazing. If I could just get up to you, I could see what goods you have to offer. He's willing to trade diamonds. But since I didn't do any pre-work, I'm just gonna cheat my way to the top. 15 blocks. I'll take four. Will you guys all get along together? Ooh, it looks like they're getting along great over there. Or conspiring not to be presumptuous, given that they can't speak. And I'll give you what you asked for. A 9 out of 10. Now I have a genius idea. Turn a redstone block into a redstone moth. You do not want to miss this one. I'll start by adding this red face cube with super big bug eyes on the front. Then a hat. Here you go, buddy. Just kidding. Shrink it down and turn it into two redstone antenna like this. Voila. This one isn't long enough though. So let's add some more cubes for a chunky backside. Now for the best part, the wings. I've made so many wings in my videos and I feel like they're always the most satisfying part to watch. Now for the teensy tiny little feet. Can you even walk on those? You know what time it is now? Super epic texture time. Boom, ba, boom. And our redstone mob is looking awesome. But let's see how it looks in Minecraft. Oh gosh, those legs are stuck in the ground. Fly, fly, fly away. He looks quite dangerous. Perhaps they're seeking out the redstone. I may be able to lure them into my friendship. They're trying to go towards the light. I can get them to lure this way though. Look, all of them, they're coming back down. Come this direction, come this direction. I've brought them back to the depths of the mines. And the redstone moths are gonna go after all of the redstone. Unfortunately, not giving us anything in return. We can lead them on a massive redstone trail hunt. They're trying to escape again. No, no getting away. These moths are difficult. I don't think you could lock these guys up anywhere where they wouldn't find a way out. I hate to do it, but I gotta give them an 8.5 out of 10. Now I'll turn this cobblestone block into a super hungry monster, a gobble stone, if you will. Get it? No? All right. This mob will need to be a lot bigger, so let's duplicate a ton of cobblestone blocks all together. Now that I have the shape, let's start to get to work. And some little legs down here, and some arms up there. And turn this hand into a four-fingered fist. Why not five? Because the cobblestone is unique. Okay, I wanted to give it these yellow eyes that really stood out as well. Then I gave it this giant jaw, you know, to eat stone with. And then I decided to add moss to the mob to give some love to mossy cobblestone. Moss to the mob, moss to the mob, moss to the mob. I worked the green moss into the cracks of the cobblestone just like this. Now I think the cobblestone monster is ready to rock and roll. But let's see how it looks in game. Whoa, my gosh. You are huge in person. Your head kind of looks like a dinosaur 
dinosaur from the side. And that belly is big from chomping down on all that cobblestone. Are they slow? They are extremely, extremely slow. Watching these guys move around is like watching paint dry. And if we have a few of you guys all working together like some sort of gobblestone army, we can probably get quite a bit of work. Oh my gosh! Okay, quite a bit of work done. Guess you heard me there, buddy. This guy already found a diamond. We should be able to see some solid work done by sometime next year, hopefully. Again, they're slow, but trusty and very fat. But don't get angry. It's a good fat. It's really, really, really good type of fat. And given that you guys won't discriminate against any type of block and just do the work wherever you are called, even if sometimes your calling seems highly suspicious, we're gonna have to give you guys a 9 out of 10. My golly, what high scores so far. Now I'm gonna turn this snow block into a snow golem. Hold on, that's already a mob. Okay, stay with me. This one is gonna be even better. The snow golem we have is a snowman. I'm gonna be making it an actual snow golem. So I'll start by making this giant snow golem body and slapping a carved pumpkin on top. Then I'll give it these stick fingers on the hands. And now for the giant coal buttons. This amount of coal could keep your house warm for like a whole week. But what the heck, let's add even more. Coal toes. And now for the head, I want the pumpkin to still have a super big stem growing from it. Why does the snow golem look so scared? Let's make it scary. Now for the best part, ice crystals all on the body. Let's texture them to look super frosty. And I think it's looking ready now, but let's see in game. This guy just looks like a massive ball of snow. The arms are looking a little bit off from this angle. The fingers are there. The toes look solid and he's very chilly given that everything is turning to snow as he moves around. And the icicles coming off the back. My goodness. I don't want you to freeze alone. Let's get you a buddy here as well. Now the two of you can freeze together. Our snow golems do not want you to know they have the capability of moving because if they could move, then these big folks could take over the entire world. That would not be good. So anytime that we're not looking, they can move around freely. Let's see if we can catch a glimpse of their secret magic in action from an angle. Look at them conspiring to take over Minecraft. But as soon as we catch them in the act, they freeze in place. I wish that that shoulder would melt slightly lower than I put it because it just looks a tad odd how hunchback he is. The icicles on the back look great, but these down here look slightly out of place. I'm gonna have to give you a six out of ten. Now I'm going to turn a cherry log into a cherry allay. A cherry. I'm gonna use the cherry log bark to make this crown shape, make these two white allay eyes, then start to build out the body from there. It's gonna need wings, and I'm gonna use these cherry saplings to make them. Now I'm gonna turn the crown part into a flower crown. Look at that. Gorgeous. Texture in these dots all across the mob to fit with the cherry tree theme, then make this one branch, kind of like a horn, coming out of the top. Now for these little bark claws and toes, and the cherry log mob is looking fly. But let's see if it looks good in game. We've got the perfect home for our charay. Look at this beautiful little fairy. Oh my gosh. Look at this guy zip around. How mission minded. Let's give you a whole colony of fairy charays so you guys can take over the cherry blossoms together or just watch over them. I don't think these little guys are intending on any sort of world domination. I've made them as friendly as I could. And to be sure that we're friends, let me help you out. I'll grab some cherry. Grab our petals and let's see if we can get it to a yes. We got our charay, some petals, and in return, you'll trade me cherries. Tasty, tasty cherries. Yeah, oh, thank you very much. Oh, very good. Cherries, yes. Tasty, tasty, tasty cherries. 25 cherries. I think that's good enough. These guys are the cutest so far, I have to say. I think they deserve above a 7, but not quite an 8. We're going to go 7.3 for the fairy cherries. Next up, I'll turn this prismarine block into a creeper from the deep ocean. First, we'll need a big blocky shape. Then I'll start adding these fishy extensions. Now we've got two fin parts. And remember, it's a deep sea creeper. So let's give it the classic creeper face. Don't judge this one. He's been through a lot. The normal prismarine wasn't really doing the mob justice, so I turned up the saturation and did some more work coloring in the fins. I'm not gonna lie, this one looks pretty cursed. Here, let's add some gills. That might help a little bit. It's kind of weird, but oddly, I really do like it. Now let's see how this deep sea creeper looks in game. There you go. Look at this big 
fish. And that creeper face is so off-putting as soon as you come around to the front side. On land, he's moving around really slow, but as soon as he manages to figure out where the water is, which he's very much seriously struggling with currently, I have a really, really, really genius idea. Or a very bad idea, as are all my ideas. Now, yeah, just as I thought. Come on, bring it, bring it, bring it. Okay, I better run now this direction. He's going in the water. All right, here we go. Here we go. Oh! Oh, boy. All right, Buster. Bring me your goods. Go closer. Okay, run, 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 run. Run, 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 run. Get in the water. Get in the water. Get in the water. All right, we're safe. And you're safe. Freedom for you, buddy. I saved you. Don't just sit still. Come on, show off your fins. I promise you guys, they can swim faster in the water. Look at him go right back to land. Why? Can you explode on land? Yeah, that's what I thought, Junior. No chance. No chance. Oh, he can't explode. Our prismarine creeper, eight out of 10. My favorite block was always obsidian. So let's make it into a volcanic snail. I want the obsidian to be the shell. So I'll start by making this pointy shell shape. Pointy shell shape. Shell shape. That one's hard to say. Then I'll bring the magma block in here. It'll be the other main part of the mob. Here we go. The goofy snail shape. I promise we'll fix it up. I'll start working on the head, making it this dark red color instead. And like I said, the obsidian will be the shell. So I'm going to give it a shell's spiral texture. And now the coolest part. An erupting volcano opening in the top of its shell. I definitely did not take inspiration from a certain magma snail in Pokemon. But you know what? I'll go ahead and say it. I think mine is the best magma snail out there. But you be the judge of that. Let's check it out in Minecraft. Woo, you are big. I thought I was going to burn up as soon as I put you in there. We are friends and I'm willing to risk it to show it. Our magma snail looks boiling. A disaster waiting to unfold. All right, you're way too attractive to me, dude. Just back off. All right, you're coming on a tad bit strong there. He will not leave me alone. I can't even get a good look at you from the side. He's just chasing me around. His magma Magma top on the obsidian looks really nice, but he's not giving me a good chance to get a solid look at his shell. Makes me think that he might be just a little bit embarrassed about it. When I look at it a little closer up now, finally, it looks like it may be too small for our magma snail. I think we probably should have increased the size of the shell because given the current size, I think he's trying to chase us down to have him help him get a bigger shell. It clearly is not big enough to contain all the magma inside of our magma snail. Six out of ten. What's next? Let's turn this coral block into a coral crab mob. The coral block is going to become the shell for the crab. So let's carve out an opening. Then I'll use the vibrant blue to start making the crab body. And here we've got all the pointy crab legs. Talking about all these crab legs is making me hungry. But this one is not for eating. It's time to make the big pincher claws for the crab. And since I made it more of a hermit crab, I'm going to give it these huge eyes. Oh my gosh, he's looking cute. And then I decided to start adding coral pieces like this. And this crab lives at the bottom of the sea, so it'll also have these barnacle growths on the side of it. But after just a little bit more texturing, I think the coral mob is perfect. Let's find out for sure. There we go. A perfect spot for our coral crab. Oh my gosh, this guy looks cute. Look at those eyes on him. Hey, why are you leaving? I went all the way down there for you to have a beautiful home, and you decide to sit at the top of the water? I guess it's all right. It gives me a better look at your pincers, and we can see the barnacles growing on the side. The coral crab turned out beautiful, but coral crab crabs do not live alone. They live in thousands and hundreds or like 25. The coral crab is not a friendly creature. These things are wild. They are vicious. They are dangerous. But because I care more about discovery and the furthering of humanity, I'm going to put it to the test. Sneak from down below this guy and whack him. And I got him. Ooh, angry little guy. <laughs> Look at him now. He's going to try to chase me. Let's give him another hit. Get you again. Oh, we got him all the way. And look, our coral crab dropped some brain coral. Yikes. Get that guy. Another one. I got you. Got you. Got you. <laughs> Your turn. See ya. Yep, it's true. You are very cute. But we have to spend some time working on our friendship, which probably means I shouldn't be wielding the diamond sword. That's okay. Next time, I'll come empty-handed. May not be a smart decision, but for now, you get a 4 out of 10 for being mean to me. Now I'm going to turn the dark and mysterious skulk block into a skulk spider, and I'm going to use all the deep dark blocks to make this one really come to life. These skulk shrieker parts are going to look amazing as legs, so I'll keep copying them, cutting them down, and moving them to make them 
look just right. I also want to make it clear that this part up front is its head. So let's make it have bright blue eyes. With that finished, let's start working on the top of this mob. I decided to add the tendrils up here. Just a very creepy little touch. It looks a little bit abstract, and I can't tell whether I like it or if I hate it. But here it is. The Skulk mob is complete. Let's check it out in Minecraft. Yeah, that guy looks wickedly creepy. Oh my god, look at that face. <laughs> He's sending out these vibration particles, which are very dangerous if you get too close. Now, granted, obviously, so far, I'm perfectly fine, which I had to enter this protected. You know what? You don't believe me? I'll show you what I mean. All right, buddy. Let's be friends. Let's be friends. We can be friends. We, can, we can't be friends. We can't be friends. We can't be friends. In fact, I better get away as fast as possible. Now you know what I mean. These skulkers are highly volatile. Very, very dangerous. Unless, of course, the skulkers are just angry at me. Let's do this and see what happens. Oh my goodness, no way. They're just mad at me. I'm the only one you guys want to attack? Oh my. Hey, dude, we could be friends. Trust me. This will, it'll, it'll, it'll work out. It'll work out if you stop that. It'll work out if you don't hit me. It's not going to work out. It's never going to work out. You hurt me, you get a one out of 10. And I never want to speak to you ever again. You didn't think that I'd leave out the grass block, did you? Let's go ahead and turn it into a giant earth beast. We're going to need a lot of dirt pieces. And I mean a lot. We'll have this part be the head. And add a jaw down here out of stone. I want to have some sort of plant on its back. So I'm going to use some azalea plants for that. The details really matter here. So I started getting to work on some little grassy bits. But I also need to work on the face. So I made the eyes like this. It kind of looks like a big earth cow, and I'm about it. I also thought it would be fitting to turn some leaves into a messy, grassy haircut. Now for some stony toes, and finally, the tail made of dirt. Now look at that beefy mob. It almost blends into the background, but let's see how it looks in-game. Let's play Spot the Massive Grass Block Mob. Okay, they're kind of easy to spot because they're absolutely honking. They blend in pretty good, and they're a little difficult to see if they actually are standing completely still. You you guys look awesome. The face of these guys looks absolutely massive too. They look like they're hungry and ready to eat. Here you go. And now that you're fed, follow me this direction. I have a home for you guys. Here, everybody, come with me. Come on. Let's do it. Everybody, follow me. Follow me. You too, follow me. Our grass mobs do more than just hang out and look gorgeous. It's an amethyst miner's village. I'm looking for your crops. As we bring our massive juicer over these crops, he's going to Spread the love, the nutrients that he's absorbed in his life. Watch as he comes over the crops. And everything grows all at once. And for helping out with this wonderful deed, you, my friend, earn yourself a 9.2 out of 10.